In today's Health Watch, traumatic brain injuries impact more than a million Americans each year. They happen because of car crashes, assault, stroke. Local 5's Caitlin Corbett shows us a new breakthrough treatment. Did you know just a hard hit to your head can trigger what's called a brain tsunami? There's no treatment for it, and it can kill off brain cells one by one in a matter of days. Now, for the first time, researchers have found a way to stop it and possibly save more brain tissue from dying. A tsunami, a massive wave of destruction. But it doesn't just happen on the coast. It can happen inside your brain. These brain tsunamis, or spreading depolarizations, happen in people who have suffered a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. We're finding out is um, a likely culprit in more and more diseases than we ever thought imaginable. Um, it's it's kind of like the hidden iceberg below the surface. After a TBI, brain cells can begin to short circuit and die. For the first time ever, researchers at the University of Cincinnati have found a way to diagnose and test tsunamis to prevent more. This has actually been revolutionary in terms of how we think about how we treat brain injury patients. Neurosurgeon Laura Nuguena is using the same technology they currently use to monitor TBI patients, but with a new algorithm. We place an electrode strip on the surface of the brain, and this allows us to detect seizure activity, but it also allows us to detect these abnormal brain tsunamis. Researchers found the drug ketamine can stop the wave. Also, doctors can monitor blood pressure and body temperature to prevent spreading depolarizations. There is currently no standard of care for brain tsunamis, but doctors hope after a larger clinical trial, they'll be able to create one. And that's your Health Watch for Local 5 News. I'm Caitlin Corbett.